Well, I took a little short break, but now we're finally in my most favorite part of the entire fan mission. I always look forward to coming here every time I play this. I mean, it's just like whoever made this part of Recreation Deck was like, was like a genius. A seriously great genius at design, I mean, decor, I mean, the feel of it, everything. I mean, if I ever went on a spaceship, I, I think I've already said this before, but if I was ever on a starship, I'd want something like this in the ship. Designed exactly like this. You'll see exactly what I'm talking about in just a moment. But first, I have to deal with a little problem around the corner there. It looks safe, but there's a camera, and there's a turret, and there's also an iMac bot. And iMac bots mean nothing but trouble. And some very painful... Actually, hold on. I think I have a better idea. This is going to be risky, but... Alright, I only got a short amount of time to do this. Sit still. I hope, I sure hope that's not coming towards me. You know, I could have just, you know, used my Psy weapon, but this saves all my health supplies, which I go through a lot quicker than my Psy points. You know, this should be over with soon. Oh boy. Shit. Yeah, that was not the smartest thing. Alright, that's done with. I only had to use one med hypo that time. Not bad, I guess. Alright. I think I'll stick with my, uh... I think, I think I'll stick with that. I'm gonna go ahead and destroy it. First, I probably should freeze it first so it doesn't shoot me to death. Alright. Frozen. Now let's take you out. Say hello to my little friend! Oops. Alright. Now that that problem is done with, actually what I probably should do is get my strength back up. There we go. Now I probably, should, okay, I'll just switch it back to the Psy weapon and get my heavy armor back out. Now I can explore this area in relative peace. Although I doubt that I'll be staying in peace for long, considering there are probably other enemies about. But hey, what can you do? Alright, first we probably should just go, uh, go ahead and look around in the, uh, the security station. Mm, nice view. I prefer to work in this kind of security station, the one with a window for once. I mean, it'd be kind of nice to look out into space at the stars, the planets that we come by. And again, this is only, this is a station, so I doubt you're going to be seeing many planets. In fact, I wonder... Whoa. Uh, hey there. Anyhow, as I was saying, I wonder how a station is mo can be moved. I mean, is it towed by ships whenever they want to move it to a new position? Or does a station have its own thrusters that give it some amount of mobility? It's a theory because this stuff doesn't even... Well, it actually does exist. I think we have, like, one space station in space. It's just, it's just as nowhere, nowhere near as advanced as the one in the games here, but... You get my point. I think there's thrusters on that space station in Earth's orbit. Although, obviously, it can't move very fast. And I doubt anything we've made can move really fast. We work with what we got. Alright, I need a battery for this room. Okay. Oh, QBR. Just what I need. Nah, I don't, I don't need to use that. No point. Ah, so I had, did I really waste it? No, I don't think I did. Never mind. Hey there. Hey guys. Oops. Yeah, I screwed up there. All right, let's try this again without screwing up. Oh. Never mind. Never mind. I was not really counting on that, but whatever. Nice little bar. You can hear faint laughter in the background if you listen. Huh. 
<laughs> I guess it's a mock-up of the casino in, in um, the original System Shock 2, but... I don't know. Everything about this bar recreation deck, deck just screams creativity. And realism, and... I mean, there's, I could go on and on about how this place is, like, the, probably the best well, and well, most well-designed area of Ponderby Station. I mean, it's one of the smallest as well. It's not very big. It's pretty tiny. That doesn't detract from the fact that it's fucking... Where the hell did you come from? It doesn't detract from... Okay, going back to what I was saying, it doesn't detract from the fact that... You see, you see something amazing like this. This is the kind of thing you'd want to see if you're waiting in a long line to get your ticket. Or to turn in your ticket. However those movie theaters work, because it's been a while. And the thing is, this is just... Uh, where did the inspiration come from, I wonder? Oh, for God's sakes! I'm trying to enjoy the view here, you jackass! Okay, back to what I was saying. Anyway, where did the inspiration come for this room, I wonder? I mean, it's just beautiful. I mean, you can even see the planet somewhere, I think. Um, hard to see now. I think it's on the other side over there. No, wait, wait. No, it's right there. Sorry. I can't, It's hard to see this part when it's kind of covered up by the platform. Yeah, but this would be amazing to wait, you know, to look at while you're waiting in line. And this has a very strong feel of, like, an old-fashioned movie theater. Not like a old, old-fashioned, but like, you know, back in our modern times, back in the 90s or something. Alright, hopefully I don't screw this up. Ugh. I'm terrible at this. I don't, have, I don't think I have enough speed for this. Hold on a minute. There. Alright, let's get my thing back up. Let's get rid of these, these coffee cups and mugs. I don't need those. I don't drink coffee in the first place. Hmm. Not much of a food selection. All you, all you got is beer, chips, and chocolate. What kind of... Where's the popcorn? You can't have... You can't go to the movies without popcorn. What kind of shit is this? Oh, well. Oh, shit! Fucking A, man. That wasn't even a monster. It was just my freaking armor falling at my face. Let's try this again. Get back in my inventory, you bitch. Alright, I should probably keep an eye on that, because I don't want my armor going out when I'm in the middle of combat. That'd be bad. <laughs> Are you afraid? What is it you fear? The end of your trivial existence. <laughs> Not bad. Pretty big movie theater. Not to mention that image is really high quality. But if you get a closer look, on, I'll, I'll try to get closer, but there's a cyber bitch 2.0 down there, and I doubt he's going to make it any easier for me to get that close to him. Yo! Let's tussle. Come here. They fall so easily. Alright, if you look closely, you can see little lines in the screen, which indicates that this screen is actually six different panels, I think. Six or three. It's kind of hard, but I think there's a middle line that goes to the middle. Is it just me, or does it look like she has a manly face now that we're standing from this angle? Kind of weird. Anyway. Ooh. I hear another Cyber Bitch 2.0 up there. Well, the reason we came here is so we can grab a certain key item. The reason you come here to the theater is so you can find a code for a door. Right? We passed by it earlier while we were in the mall sector. The code is not your typical listen to this log, you have to find it in a laptop. Which is relatively well hidden. Not that I'm complaining, I actually really like exploring the theater. It's fun to travel through. And Fraps is acting up. Gah. The heck's up with Fraps, man? All right, looks like that area is sealed off. That must have been like a, a little lounge or something for people who wanted to take a break from watching the movie. I don't know the particulars. It's just a guess. Uh, wait. 
Wasn't there a cyber assassin up here? I always thought there was... I guess he didn't spawn either that or he came down to come get me. Who knows? Okay, there's a problem with this top area, though. Oh! Shit. You bastard. Come here. Come here! That's what you get for doing a stupid sneak attack like that. Idiot. Okay. As I was saying... Wait, what am I doing? Give me a check... Uh, give me a second to convert these. Okay. Take a good look. The problem with this top area is that probably the only people who could see the, the screen is the people in the front row here. People in the back? Here, I'll give you a visual example. Yeah, you can only see the top half. Normally when they have rows like this, they're angled like an, at an incline, probably 45 degrees or less or more, in order for everybody to get an equal view of the screen. It's not like the bomb area where it doesn't really matter because, you know, the screen's higher than the seats. In this case, the seats are higher than the screen. But anyhow, aside from those technical aspects that don't really relate to the game, we got our battery. We just gotta go charge it, which should be easy because there's a recharger. Did we pick up any logs while we were in there? No, I don't think so. Let me check real quick with the U button. Nope. Alright. As long as Fraps doesn't give me a heart attack, I'll be able to get through this without much trouble. Hey there! Loser. Alright, so... Recharger, where art thou? Thank you. Okay, yeah, that thing's on. So, let's go in. In you go. Not entirely sure what the maintenance shaft is for. The only complex machinery in this place, I think, are... The, uh, the screen. Which is, you know, which is, um... That's the right word I'm looking for. Um, <clears throat> the the movies are shown by a projector, it looks like, because you can hear the projector, so there's not really much com complex machinery going on there. So it's kind of hard to say what this maintenance shaft is for, since other decks seem to lack one. Oh boy. Ha, got through. Alright, here is where the laptop is. You come through this maintenance shaft and you see this little laptop. Now, for those of you who forgot, pay attention to my notes. Right click. See? Add it to the notes. And my armor just fell off again. Oh boy. A second, please. Come here. Ooh, a hacking tool. That's not bad. Now, you could come down here through that hole, but you probably have to be playing on like normal or something, or have the maximum protection you could possibly get. Otherwise, you'll just die. You'll just fall to your death and die. Which I'm pretty sure was the intention anyway. I always feel kind of uneasy walking on top of glass, even if this stuff is unbreakable. It, it always gives me the sensation that if something were to happen, I could easily just fall into space or something like that. Kind of scary. Yeah. It's a pretty amazing view, though. Alright, let's get out of here. We have our All of our business is done in the theater. And I don't think we picked up any new logs as well, which is kind of a shame. Alright, we're not going to need to use that. Gotta be quick. I don't want to get shot. Okay, good. I'll keep you on, just in case. Alright. Yeah, I'll go ahead and share your opinion on uh, the mall, uh, the uh, theater area, though. It's like my favorite area in this entire fan mission, next to the Colony Jutata. Oh, wait, I just... Oh, I mean, I just spoiled it. Oh, well, you'll see what I mean later on. But... Yeah, looks like our... Uh, great. Wait a minute. Switch boost. Alright, here we go. That didn't go so well. Alright, there we go. That went better. Let's go recharge you and let's get out of here before any more of this freaking protocol droids spawn. Thing. No. All right. Onward.